In this episode, we're gonna be creating a sculpture trail for guests to enjoy across the site. So we are very lucky to have all Keith's tattooed stones here. So you can see them in the background here. Um, basically in 2019, we had art weeks. So um, we had a marquee up, um, we had a pop-up tea room, we had um, loads of guests here who were looking at the art in the studio and then coming for tea. And Keith was one of our artists. So he creates these sculptures. We've actually got a video, which I'll put a link to, um, all about how he creates these sculptures. Um, and what I want to do is basically create a sculpture trail up on the field. So as you can see, they were here and it was looking all good. But then um, I'm pretty pants at the weeding, clearly, and now it's all just looking a bit rubbish. So we're having a little bit of a heat wave in the UK at the moment. It's like 30 degrees and I've decided that today is the only day I've got to move these stones around the site. Um, I've mown little patches where I'm going to put them because they need to be secured down. Um, so basically I need to get heave hoeing and get them in the wheelbarrow and move them around the site. I thought I was going to wheelbarrow and then I was going to sack truck and then I thought actually sod it I've got a wheelbarrow that attaches to the mower so I'm just going to go and see what stones I can get in here and then I can just drive them up to where I want them. Okay I think this one is going to be the easiest one to move. Oh, it's and it's hot! So I've mowed this little patch here so that I can sit it on without um, it being too wobbly. But luckily this one's nice and low anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I've also mowed a few, like all dotted around the wildflower area. Um, and I want to put some around there. So I'm just going to try and get them all moved. Eek. Right, which way does it go? So the stone circle is going to stay as it is because um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stones in here, but I'm just going to move this little one here, I think, um, to carry on the, creating the sculpture trail. Um, so I'm going to try moving that one. I'm not sure that's pegged in or not, but I'm going to just leave the rest here because I like them as they are in here. Um, so let's get this one. Right, this one is not going to stand up without some sort of digging in the ground or levelling. So, looks like I'm going to have to go and get my spade. Okay, I've got a presence from the Stone Age one, which I will prop up again once we get there. And I've also got things to fix that other stone, so I'll go and have a go, but um, hopefully I can make it not wobble. So this is another circle we've created, which we planted a load of wildflower seeds in the middle of here. Um, but as you can see, not much has grown this year. So I'm hoping for more colour next year. Um, but we're going to put a few of the stones around here. So I'm going to start with the presence from the Stone Age one going in here, I think. And at least that's just not one that has to be um, like dug into the ground or anything. So let's let's just stick it here, I think. Oh no, I can't remember how it went now. This is particularly heavy. I don't know if I like it like that, to be honest. So I'm stuck now on these three because I can't move them by myself. So I have called in the big guns. Listen, oh. you've only gone and chosen the hottest day of the year to do it. Well, it was just as hot yesterday and I was doing it. Really? Mm. Feel this. This is like cooking. You can cook an egg on here. Wow, well, this one at least has got a big base. Yeah, which is what we want. So a couple of them don't have very big bases. Yeah, so this one should be able to get... Oh, and it's got 10 pegs in it as well. Has it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one, we just need to dig a hole and sink it in. Yeah, and then okay. And that'll work. Okay, we'll get the spade as well. Yeah, we need that. But look, let's just lift it onto the thing. Okay. Look, we're bending the wheelbarrow. Okay, where's this one going? I don't know. So he's going to get the spade. And is that the right way that we want to have the front? I don't know which way the front is. Um, maybe this is the front, is it? I don't know. 
You can't move it. I don't think I could probably walk it round. Yeah, that use way. A, yeah, I think that's the right way. Unless what we do here is we just do a little bit around it so that you can walk all the way around it. Uh, let's not complicate things. Okay. We just need to dig out because it's warm. See if you can there. dig it out and then sink it. Right, and then come and see this. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look, poppies have grown. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. Oh, awesome. Um, I think this looks better like this. The presents from the Stone Age. A present. Better than like it laying down. Yeah, I think that works quite well. How silly is it? It's though? not at all. You know, you need to dig that in and kind of sink it, I think, up to about there. Okay, yeah, I suppose I could do that. So I dug this one in. But it's still like well wobbly. Yeah, but you, look, it's not compacted around properly. And also, you most probably haven't gone deep enough in. No, okay. I think if a job's worth doing. It's worth doing Brian's way. Well, it's worth doing right. <laughs> but yes, Brian's way is normally the right way too. Well, since Vicky on the last one didn't have the muscles to lift it, I'm going to see if I can do this one by myself. <laughs> You've got I'm... holes to hold though. It's oh, not... That's the only reason I can. Let's have a go. Well, that one came out a bit too easy. Right, well, yeah, see, that's because the stick's broken. Okay, so we're gonna have to dig quite a deep hole for this one again. Yeah, because that had a broom pole through it. Oh, it's on a board. Where is it? I suppose it makes it more level. Yeah. See, there, it's totally snapped. I think we're just gonna have to dig it in. Okay. Probably. Keep going, keep up the good work. Well, I seem to remember last year having to do it in the scorching heat, digging up there. Oh, uh, we were digging the um, soakaway in, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, well, no, it was digging the actual water pipe in. Oh, that too. It was all blinking hot. And you want this as the front, do you? Yeah, the pregnant bit's got to go this at the front. Yeah. The front. Yeah, should be fine. Okay, cool. Right, so we've taken all the stones up. We've just got that one last one to move. And we have taken all the membrane up, which has got 10 gazillion tons of weeds in toads, ants, everything else and now we're just going to rake this all over, put a load of more soil in and reseed it I think so that it um, it's much easier to mow and hope Keith doesn't have a heart attack when he sees it. <laughs> so what do you think about our idea for a sculpture trail then Keith? I think it's a brilliant idea Vicky, absolutely superb. And what I'd really like to do if you're up for it is have a, like an open day maybe in September or something Great. and then we'll basically give everybody a sculpture trail they can come have a wander around and then they can showcase you can showcase the stones off yep. and but I know you said you're not really selling many of these ones you're doing more bespoke ones right? I'm selling more of the garden keepers but um, I mean we can tie that in with the human sacrifice you're going to do. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll pick a really nice day in September, we'll get everybody here, we'll, we'll sort of give them a trail and then, um, yeah, you can, you can be here to talk to the artists and meet the artists. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds absolutely great. And can we have, can we have like a tombola for the victim for the human <laughs> sacrifice? <laughs> everybody gets to put their name in free, except they had to be virgins. <laughs> Should we try and do a, a civilised interview <laughs> with Keith? It's literally impossible. Right, well I'm glad you like the idea. I think I'll do I the organisation really on it. Yes. And you just need to turn up. Oh really? Okay. And there'll be tea and cake, which is the most important thing, and scones. That sounds fantastic. So we're going, we need to take a few more pictures and what I want to do now is sit down and write a blurb. So I've got photos of all the stones and I just need you to like give me one line or two lines about what the stone represents or what it means or nothing about penises please nothing about penises no right. nothing about human sacrifice nothing about oh, all right. family friendly okay all right <laughs> inspired by, by natural storm chasers um and uh, inspired by american storm chasers inspired by american yeah i'm gonna read this and be like what american <laughs> storm chasers you can, once you've got the basic idea, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bleep that out. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, the one that... that uh... So you're dealing with an old man's memory shot. Uh... It means um, pregnant... It means pregnant woman. Pregnant uh... woman in French, obviously. Um... 
prominent, uh, just prominent, mm -hmm. prominent English sculpture, a female sculptor. When we were in St. Ives, we went to the Tate Gallery, and that's what inspired that particular piece. Was her name Barbara what? Barbara Hepworth. She was the first sculptor that put a hole right through the piece, and then she was copied by various others, but they, she was, it was always attributed to men because they were so dead set against women being sculptors. Oh. Do, you, do you see? I just well, some information go. for you. Right, next is the Fingerstone. That's a, a, a memories of blank on that one. I don't know how I came up with that. I just did. <laughs> so let's say, uh, why is it called the finger stone now? And what does it represent? What does the, what does the finger, does it look like a finger? This looks like a finger. Does it look like a finger? <laughs> I'm going to have to flower this out, Keith. It's fine. Uh, the Holy Chakras. Right, that's the Ilminster Eye, isn't it? Yeah, it's the holy chakras because uh, it looked like a penis. I told you we're not talking about penises on here. Oh, right. <laughs> they're centres of energy in the body. They're kind of like centres. Oh, I like that. Centres of energy in the body. Occurrences. That would make the time of the Big Bang. <laughs> and <laughs> you know that, don't you? <laughs> I just make these bloody things because I like making them. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not going to get you a sculpture to try. <coughs> no. Um, right, brilliant, Keith. I think I've got everything I need for this sculpture trail. So we'll set it all up and um, we'll get my family that I've got staying here to test it out for us oh, and, uh, and let you know how it goes. But yes, and we'll get planning our, um, our open day at some point and uh, yeah if you can work on getting some sort of famous gardener here or or something like that <laughs> Monty Don, Alan Titchmarsh, Charlie Dimmock, any of those will do mm, that would yeah, be really yeah. good <laughs> so basically Keith oh, uh, Keith's yeah. lovely lady has told him that he needs to find a new home for it too here we have it a whole load of more stones that are going to find a new home Annabelle are you ready to go and find a place to put them? do you want to see if Edward yeah. wants to come and help us? yeah You've got a whole other box of them there. Yeah. Oh, this is over the last five years. No. I don't exactly brush. <laughs> <laughs> One. So how many do we think we've got, Keith? I think we've got 15. 15, okay. But, you know. We, we, yeah, we, don't, we didn't really count very well, so... Uh. Yeah. <laughs> right, thanks, Keith. It's a pleasure, as always. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> if you can give us a little bit of a backstory on each of those little ones that you've just given us. <laughs> so here I have the finished Tattoo so Stone Sculpture Trail. So I've got two pages of stones and I've kind of preceded Keith's witterings about what they're all about. And um, it's very exciting because I have um, Edward here who is a Tractors and Cream YouTube super fan. I didn't know we had any super fans apart from um, David Smith in Kentucky. Thank you for always commenting on our videos. Um, but these guys are gonna try out the sculpture trail for us for the very first time. So daily family, here is your sculpture trail. Um, you can tick them off as you find them and then also what I said at the bottom is how many mini stones can you find because there are quite a few mini stones so Edward here you go here's the pencil and I want you guys to go off and see if you can find them all and then let me know how many mini stones there are Damn. okay ready to go which way guys I found one I found one which one is it guys this one it's a mini stone yeah Which 
Do you want to take it off? Yeah. It's called Blue Twister. What's it called, Jojo? Blue Twister. Inspired by American storm chasers. Why is it too many stones? Too many stones. 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 Too many I'm going to go the mini stone. Yeah. Well, over there. It's a lovely one. Oh, this is cool. What does this one say? Read it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our video. I just thought I'd pop out here to show you how the grass has completely grown back now. It grew so quickly. Um, so now you wouldn't even know there was any of those sculptures there. Um, I have also created this laminated sheet, which is double sided so people can just tick and then wipe clean. So that is all done. And we've had loads of families do it and they absolutely love it. So um, thank you for watching and hopefully we will see you again soon.